Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely strategy aimed at helping you become a more effective stock screener. This week we're screening for price to sales ratio with our stock screener, Kevin Matris, who joins me here once again. I don't think we've ever done this screen here before, have we? Uh, now, interestingly enough, this is the first time we are talking about price to sales ratio here. Uh, and the reason why it's interesting is because I would say the price to sales ratio is probably one of my favorite valuation metrics to screen for stocks on. Oh, goody, something new. <laughs> yeah, so, special treat today. So what is this price to sales ratio? Well, the price to sales ratio is just that. It is price divided by sales. And it's a ratio, and it's used for determining a company's under or overvaluation. So for example, if you have a price to sales ratio of one, that means you're paying one dollar for every one dollar of sales the company makes. If you have a price to sales ratio of two, that means you're paying two dollars for every one dollar of sales the company makes. And as you might have guessed, the lower the ratio, the better. So continuing on, if you have a price to sales ratio of 0.5, that means you're paying 50 cents for every one dollar of sales the company makes. And in my opinion, if you can pay less than a dollar for a dollar's worth of something, I believe that that's a good bargain. All right, so why is this one of your favorite items? Well, for one, the price to sales ratio looks at sales as opposed to earnings like the PE ratio does. And the reason why I like that is because it's harder to manipulate sales on an income statement. Secondly, I would be hard pressed to find a screen that could not be improved by adding the price to sales ratio to it. So when I when I add the price to sales ratio to a lot of my screens, I normally find the screens do a lot better and they pick big, uh, better stocks. And for me, when I'm using the price to sales ratio, I do prefer to look at companies with a, a PS ratio of under one, mm -hmm. although I will go up to four based on what industry I am looking at. But personally, I think the best way to use the price to sales ratio is to be able to compare it to the median for its industry. And is that how you're using it here? Yeah, that's what we're doing in this week's screen. So the screen starts off by first looking for companies with a projected growth rate of greater than or equals to the growth rate for the S&P. So I want to make sure that, uh, that the companies have above market growth rates. Then I want to make sure that the companies have a positive earning surprise and a positive sales surprise their last time out. Then I'm adding the price of sales metric to it. I want the price to sales ratio to be less than or equals to the median for its respective industry. So again, the valuations have to be lower than their industry. Okay. And all of these parameters are added to companies where the price is above five and the volume is above 100,000 shares. All right. And stocks that came through the screen. Yeah, there was a bunch of stocks that came through. Here's five stocks that look particularly attractive. You have j -Bill Circuit, Cadent, Pacer International, Skyworks Solutions, and TRW Automotive. All of these companies look very good. They have growth rates better than the uh, median for their industry, but they also have valuations that are quite attractive as well. Okay, and a diverse group of industries too. Very diverse set of industries, uh, and uh, that's what makes the screen so good because you're not just focusing on one area. You really have a, a, a pretty big lay of the land, and you're finding the best ones. Own any of these? Uh, none of those. All right. If you want to find out what the text version of this piece looks like, go to our homepage if you're not already there, zax.com. Scroll down to you see Kevin's picture and then click on the headline, which is the live link right next to his picture. It'll take you right to it. If you want to learn more about the Research Wizard, the tool that Kevin uses to achieve all of these screens, zax.com forward slash research wizard is the place to check out. With Kevin Matris and the Screen of the Week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.